Another trick play. El Amin. Oh. He'll fire. Man wide open, oh. but he overshoots the target shelling. They're and going that'll crazy. do it. Wow. BMI reaches four wins on the season for the first time in 11 years. The Keydets win again in the SOCON to go to three and one and overtime triumph here at home against the Sanford Bulldogs. Wow. Wow. The VMI Keydets moved to three and one in SOCON play after a dramatic 48-41 win over the Sanford Bulldogs today in Lexington at Foster Stadium before a huge parents weekend crowd. It was a 56 yard field goal by Grant Clemens to force overtime. That was the second longest field goal in VMI history and Alex Ramsey on the first snap of overtime taking it to the house 25 yards out his sixth rushing touchdown of the day. That is a VMI record. It was an historic afternoon at Foster Stadium. The Keydets win it 48 41 now three and one in league play. Here's post game quotes from VMI head football coach Scott Wackenheim. You know, I thought our team responded to every momentum swing, even though sometimes it took a little longer than what I wanted. But uh, they kept on believing that they belong. They believed that they long belonged in the SOCON championship game. And the exciting thing is uh, we found a way to make one more play than they did. There's several key critical game plays in that game, uh, some made by us, some not made by us. but. Uh, can't say enough of how proud I am of this team. Uh, Alex Ramsey, you know, 37 carries, 163 yards. He only had one yard loss rushing. That's a great job by him in the O-line and, and six touchdowns, which I believe is a, a new uh, VMI record. Uh, Jacob Harris, second game in a row with uh, double digit catches. Uh, just a great game. And then uh, uh, Reese Yudinski, again, another game, uh, no interceptions. Um, which was great. Uh, I believe we won the turnover battle. Uh, you know, they got us on a couple good special teams play. We knew number four for them was a heck of a returner. Um, we are aggressive going after punts, and we knew we were vulnerable to a fake. But on that one, um, probably should have made a play, but we didn't. So great job by them scheming us up. But uh, again, I can't say enough about these kids believing, uh, playing to the last play, and uh, you know, finding a way to win today. Thankful for these guys sitting next to me that uh, keep believing, keep fighting. And guys, you know, how much, how much fun was that game? You know, and, and even if the score didn't come out in our favor, I, I would have said the same thing these guys. That game was fun. It was fun to coach. They kept fighting, you know. I made some coaching mistakes in the game, and I made some good calls. So, you know, they made some mistakes, and they made some great plays. And, uh, you know, I just, I just love the way this team really is truly a brotherhood, and they really do represent the spirit of EMI. I thought our best chance was to kick the field goal. I, I didn't know if it was going in, but I thought it was our best chance to tie the game uh, and, and then try and win it in overtime. And, uh, you know, Grant came through like a champion. But uh, we knew Sanford was a good football team. We had to come out here and perform our best. And I think we did today. We made a few mistakes, but we're a team that a, bu a bunch of hard-nosed guys, and we just don't quit. I'm just so thankful for these guys, you know. Um, they could have stopped believing, and yeah. they didn't. Some other big performers today, Jacob Harris, 10 catches, that's a career high, finishes with 173 yards. And on defense, Elliot Brewster with 11 tackles, Algerique Maury making his first college start, also with 11 tackles. Next week, it's on the road, back to Mercer in Macon, five-star stadium. The kickoff between the Keydets and the Bears at 3 p.m.